Welcome to Spiritual Mindfield. Today we're going to look at how do you know when you're doing God's will? Okay, so we're going to look at Isaiah chapter 55 and we're going to read verse 10 and 11. And this is what it says. For just as rain and snow fall from heaven and do not return without watering the earth, making it bud and sprout, and providing seed to sow and food to eat. So my word that proceeds from my mouth will not return to me empty, or there the word empty could be void, without effect, but will accomplish what I please, and it will prosper where I send it. So here you have a comparison of a farmer who puts seeds and is going to grow up for what? It's not going to grow up just to look pretty or so, some type of flower. No, he's, he's going to plant seed so he could grow to nourish people, to eat and satisfy your hunger. The same thing with God's word. When you plant the word of God, when you're preaching the gospel, when you're telling somebody about Jesus, or you're teaching the Bible, or you're giving somebody a verse, or you're telling someone what the verse means, or you're trying to help someone to come to the truth, that is God using you. Because if you look at verse 11, what does it say? It says, so my word that proceeds from my mouth will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I please. So he's the one in control. So when you're dispensing the word of God, it is the Holy Spirit inside of you. If you're a true believer with God's spirit, it's, it's, it's the Holy Spirit inside of you dispensing the word of God. It is not in you to do that, meaning it's not coming from you, but it is coming from the Holy Spirit putting in your heart to tell someone, maybe to correct someone with the truth, maybe to warn someone with the Bible not to do this or not to do that. Maybe you're telling a person, hey, you need to believe in Jesus because the place you're heading is a terrible place. And the only way to make it to heaven, if you put your faith in Christ, and then you tell them the gospel, you tell them what did Jesus do for them, his resurrection, how to receive eternal life, who is truly Jesus and all these things. So, Every time you tell someone God's word, but remember, you got to say it in truth. When you're dispensing the word of God in truth, according to scripture, according theologically accurate, the Holy Spirit is using you without a shadow of a doubt. You are being used by God to do his will. And whatever you say, even though you don't get a response, even though you don't get anything, maybe the person rejects what you're saying, maybe you don't see anything. But here, look what God says. It says, but it will accomplish what I please, and it will prosper where I, where I send it. So it's going, to, it's going to produce something. Something is going to happen. The moment a person hears the word of God, they have two choices, either to accept it or to reject it, but it will accomplish God's will. So when that person, if that person rejects God's word, when their time comes to see the Lord, guess what? They can say, Lord, you never spoke to me. Lord, you never gave me a chance, what is the Lord going to tell that person? I send you my servant, and I spoke through him. And you did not reject my servant. You rejected me because I spoke through my servant through the word of God. So there it will accomplish righteous judgment. And also what it will do is when you talk to somebody, and the person, let's say, he receives your word, but he goes, you know, he goes on his way and nothing seems to be happening, believe it or not, in his heart, something is working. The Holy Spirit is working in his heart to convict him with the word of God that you gave him, with the verse or verses or whatever message you gave him from Scripture. The Holy Spirit is using it and is working in that person. So when do you know when God is using you? When do you know that you're doing God's will? The moment you're telling somebody about Jesus, the moment you're teaching someone God's word, the moment you're helping someone through the word of God, that's when you know God is using you. Thank you for listening.